And now a quest to make this micro super light. Let's make the roof. The wings are done. They will be linked in the description for that video. I'm making them all separate. Yes, I'm sorry, but I have to capitalize on all of this. That's a good one. So the roof on the Micra looks to be a very simple item. There's a two seams running across. It's very diff different. Well, not very different, but it's different to a clear roof where at the front sort of flanges like that and it, it definitely re requires to make a mold. This one, again, we're going to cut every single corner possible. We're going to skin it. Um, two layers, the same as the wings and the bonnet, and then we'll flip around and reinforce it in strategic places. Um, this one is fairly flat, so the, the, the fabric would be able to go right at around the, the back. Again, you can actually see where the original roof is attached. For the front, again, super simple, just a simple U-bend, U-shape uh, flange thing. So we're gonna put some cardboard in here to prevent from resin from dripping on the lovely Spartan interior of this wonderful Gizfab Micra. Um, yeah, again, gonna use PVA because um, the surface is not very even and uh, chemical release agent is good for molds. It's good for a lot of things, but in this instant, PVA just does wonders. is all flanged it's been applied with the PVA so now we have to wait about 15 minutes for it obviously to harden up the PVA layer and we're ready to skin it effectively so the process is the same as if you were to make a mold so for example if I want to replicate those roofs this is basically how you would make it you prep it and now you would lay four to five layers thick layers of fiberglass and then you reinforce it no actually i'm lying first you would obviously put gel coat and then you reinforce it but effectively this is how you make a mold so we're not making a mold we're skinning it the roof is less than perfect unfortunately so again for all those haters who in the future will see it and be like hey Ruski did it back it has plenty of uh, dents on the, on the on the thing the key for this roof the key for all of those parts for this mica to make them light and functional this is not meant to be a show car so the show car finish is not to be expected on this thing it will still look good don't get me wrong from about two meters away but have you ever seen a british touring car or any of those uh, racing cars except for the formula one those are mint literally you come closer than two meters they all really shack i mean the panel gaps and everything is held by gaffer tape and cable ties so this is basically what we're trying to achieve super light functional strong parts that fit well even though you can still make them look really really good but this will require obviously a lot of sanding uh, uh, extra two three layers of clear coat and then polishing and all that stuff we are not interested in this so all right let's get cracking making it
the moment of truth. It has been about 15 hours. Eden is uh, currently lowering the car onto its four wheels. And uh, I'm about to see the monstrosity that I've managed to create last night. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, we had some issues. And looking at this, I am almost I almost don't even need to tell you about those issues because you'll never know. Actually, it looks okay. Um, the main issue was because of tight corners, guys always need to pay attention. It would start lifting from, from corners. Um, it lifted a little bit in places, but it's not critical. It's not, it's not too bad. It's not, it's not like you look at it. I mean, for example, yesterday before I left, I was like really upset and you look at it and you're like, oh shit, it's ruined. But we managed to wait until the B stage, which is about four hours until the resin is really, really sticky. And then we managed to sort of use those thingies and uh, you've probably seen it on the time lapse, sort of press it and put some weight on it. So at least the front corner has a nice straight edge. Um, but yeah, overall, overall, I mean, it's a race car. We know it's going to be light. And usually at race cars, you need to look from about a meter and a half. And from here, it's fucking mint. What do you think? Mint. Mint, see? We, we both say mint, so you're gonna have to take our word for it. Um, all right, now, we need to take this thing off. If I've done my part correct on the PVA, the mold release, it should literally just pop up from the front to the back and then obviously trim and we need to weigh but more important I'm more, more, more interested to know what the standard roof the metal roof is going to weigh I reckon it's going to be at least 8 kilos 7 to 8 kilos maybe even more um, this thing I guarantee will be under 2 kilograms most likely under 1.5 so what are you planning to do now Eden? I'm going to raise the roof raise the roof is that the word? Raise the roof. Oh yeah. no, we're gonna um, we're gonna drop the we're gonna cut the top off. And then we're gonna pick up some bitches in my in my new convertible. But that's exactly what we're gonna do. Convertible, here we go. All right, what do we think it weighs? Guys, you know the score, comments, guess. I reckon it weighs 8.1 kilos. Luke? Uh, 7.5. 7.5 for Luke and Eden? Uh, 6.8. 6.8. <laughs> oh. Come on, come on, wait for the peep. Wait for the noise. Come on, you stupid thing. <sighs> Alright, it's 8.9 kilograms. The new roof is 2 kilograms. I didn't actually show you how I weighted it, but yeah, trust me, it's 2 kilos. So that's a good 6.9. Seven kilograms weight saving from the top. Ah, we need to put this on a board. So reveal it. So far, we're not done yet, but so far. No, we're not done. So obviously, we shaved the uh, seventeen point eight kilos out of the car. Um, I definitely think we'll get them that thirty kilo target by the time we've got a plastic screen in the boot. Um, oh, the, the, when we cut out the, the rear, the, the whole bottom, that's going to be significant, yeah. But the, even the rear arches will oh, well, uh, give well, us a yeah, little bit. Yeah, as well. I, no, well you, I, I'm thinking of the yeah. boot lid, you're thinking of the boot floor, but you are right. Yeah. And we'll probably, more, we'll probably be more 35, uh, 40 kilos yeah. all said and done. I can now afford some extra kebabs. 
Yeah, extra kebabs and um, yeah, I mean, yeah, why not? <laughs> the next step. Reinforcement, so key is key. Wow, key is key. Yeah, you need to key the surface because resin sticks better to a keyed surface. Duh. Three mil foam always works absolute wonders. Gonna have 15 millimeters, no, 150 mil this side, 200 mil this side, single layer of 12K carbon on top. Simple, that's pretty much what I have on my carbon roof and it works wonders. Let's do this. Epoxy is dry and oh boy did it make it stick. Um, literally two strips, I've used it before on all my roofs, two strips. This time I've used a slightly thicker one and boy it made it stiff. Uh, let me show you how it looks on the car. I mean look at that, fits like a glove but obviously to be expected but in all fairness the metal roof does the same right Eden? yeah yeah so it, it always sounds it. like it's steel yeah um we did not weigh it but i reckon it did not add more than 300 400 grams because of the reinforcement which is still way on track of losing well we're pretty much at almost 20 kilograms after all of our um bits and pieces so the roof effectively is ready to be bonded. We are gonna be using PU18, the usual adhesive that I use for, for roofs. We're using Tiger Seal this time. For, for the reason I don't know we will reveal why. But yeah, right, it's the same stuff as I usually use. Actually, in fact, we just Googled it and it's more expensive than the stuff I use. A lot of people say, ah, it's a waste. Just use the cheaper stuff. So yeah, we're going all out. The expensive stuff. Only the best stuff for the Micra. Only the best. Only the best. And it's very simple. Big sort of bead on the inside roof in here. Quite a bit on the rear. A little bit at the front. Couple of clamps here and there. And then usually it's about 12 hours wait or something. And it's done. And after that, Eden is going to take it to a local body shop and they're just going to apply a single layer of uh, clear just to make it even more sexy, right? Top job. I mean, theoretically, I know that Eden's been receiving some messages and I did receive a few messages, people wanting those custom roofs. It's a slow process. It's not cheap, guys. This is not like, you know, oh yeah, 100 pounds, I'll make you a roof. It's only for serious people. And I have to stress, the way I'm making those roofs like this, this is for race car only. This is not your show car quality. I mean, if you sort of look at it from quite close, it, it has imperfections, but it's strong, it's light, and it's carbon fiber. So it's kind of like an entry level carbon fiber part, so. Yeah, you know where to find me. If you really want one, I will consider each person on case-by-case -case basis. I will definitely vet you and ask you some questions about your uh, carbon fiber needs. If you pass, then we can talk prices. But yeah, thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you found this entertaining or informative or a bit of both. And uh, I'll see you on another exciting episode from Gizfab.